Hopefully you can hear me okay. Well, normal people, healthy people, um, they usually have good or bad or really bad or even worse days. Well, for most of those people, we either have bad or worse days. Um, our good days are basically our bad days. We're not on our deathbed. Um, we don't feel like we're dying. Um, but that day consists of muscle spasms, being in pain, having trouble breathing, walking to the fridge, walking to the bathroom, not being able to do that much. And if we're able to, maybe it's just cooking. And then we have to sit back down, be in pain again. Or maybe we have to choose between cooking or doing dishes. And only can do that for a little while. Like with me, I only can do dishes for two minutes. And then it feels like my back is being ripped apart. It's very painful. I can't deal with that pain and I can't take anything for pain because my doctors are worried I'm messing up any more of my organs because sarcados will already do that. So I just have to deal with the pain and even sit on my walker doing dishes. I only can do it for two minutes. It's extremely sore. And there's days that... I can't do anything because I'm in so much pain and having trouble breathing. Muscle spasms get to be so bad where I'm in tears. Can't go to the hospital because there's nothing they can do for me because they'll do a whole bunch of tests just to keep me there for five, six hours, poking, prodding, use an ultrasound to find a vein to put the IV in to do the dye to do the CAT scan and so I try not to go to the hospital unless my pain level is where I just want to die it's that bad and that would be my worst day yeah um when I got a cold that was my worst day I literally felt like I was on my deathbed <sighs> to be able to breathe a little bit easier be a little more comfortable. I have to have my apartment between 50 to 53 degrees. And you can a lot of times even see your breath in my apartment. Yeah, I know normal person's place won't be that cold. But for me, since I have circa dose, the colder it is, the easier it is for me to breathe. And the more comfortable I feel, even though I'm still in pain, but at least I don't feel like I'm being crushed by an elephant. When you're struggling to breathe, it makes your life very hard to even be here. Um, I can't be around smoke. Um, I don't smoke. And my mom quit, but we do have neighbors that tend to linger by my door and smoke. It's not as bad as what it was. So we did have some neighbors that were smoking drugs by my door. Yeah. Um, sorry, brain fog. Uh, I try to keep the sun out. Because the less sun, the less pain I'm in, and the less migraines, and the sun just hurts my eyes. Even when I go outside, I have my sunglasses on, and it's just very painful. My sunglasses don't help that much. <sighs> um, so eventually, when I have enough money... I'll have curtains that are called black curtains. But they come in any color. I will have them hanging up. 
so then I don't have to deal with the sun and the brightness. Um, so yeah, my place will kind of look like a vampire's place. Except for, of course, my lamp. I need it. My eye vision's been coming and going. Um, meaning I can make out some things most of the time. Uh, but sometimes it's very blurry. Where I have trouble making out. Um, I can't really read menus anymore. Um, when I get mail, I can barely, if it's small print, see it. And my eye specialist doesn't really want to see me until my vision goes. Because I have sarcoidosis in my eyes. Yeah. Sucks. And I also have it in my lungs. This illness is just horrible. Some doctors describe it as basically dying a very slow, painful death. And I will have to agree with that doctor. I don't remember which doctor on YouTube says that, but yeah. Constantly in pain. Um, on a bad day, pain levels between 6 and a 10. On the worst day, a 10 and higher. The highest I've had was 15. And I had to go straight to the hospital. And, yeah, that's when I was there for about five to six hours. Getting poked and prodded. They did every test imaginable. Because they didn't know if I had a broken rim, blood clot. We say that they were thorough just to make sure that nothing serious was wrong with me. Well, when all the tests came back, came back that it was just my circadose. Go figure. And they apologized that there was nothing they could do. So, that's why I don't go to the hospital unless I absolutely have to. Because <sighs> I hate needles. I'm scared of them. And I don't like going to the hospital unless I'm in so much pain where I either feel like I'm dying... Or something's hurt me so bad that I want to. Yeah. <sighs> this illness just sucks. And my pain is worse when it snows, rains, and it's even bad when everything stops. My muscle spasms when it snows is so bad where I just want to crop in a ball and just die. Yeah. It literally brings me to tears. It sucks. But we're here for a reason. And I'm not going to give up fighting. And we just need a cure. We fight every day that we're here. Every day to be alive. And not a lot of doctors know about this illness um, and what they do. It's very little. Except for, I think there is some circuito specialist out there, like in the Mayo Clinic or um, the one doctor that was on the doctor show. I think he's from India. I'm not for sure. So there is some, but it costs a lot of money to be seen by them. Money I don't have. So, the meds I'm on are the ones I only can take is my prednisone, water weight, uh, makes you swell up, whatever. And then, because of the prednisone, I'm on thyroid medication. And, like I said, I can't take anything for pain, so I'm going to take about 10 to 12 baths a day to try to help out with the pain. Now, if I could live in water like a mermaid, I probably would have it made. Yeah. But even taking that many baths, even though my skin's kind of used to it, still my skin gets dry and breaks open or gets rashes. 
So that sucks too. And with prednisone, it's easy to get infections. So we have to be extra careful. And it's easy for us to get bruises. And I lose my balance. Not a lot, but often. And I ended up giving myself a bruise by running into things. Sucks. I just figured I'd let you know how my day is going. Yeah, crappy. But at least I'm still here. All right, well, God bless you, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.